Hello, everyone. I am Dave the Prayer Guy. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. I know I say that at the beginning of every video, but it is really is true. I do appreciate it so much. The other thing I always say at the beginning of videos is that my vision is to fuel God's mission with prayer, and that is so true. It is also true that I love to, to talk about it, to teach it, to lead it, to encourage it. So I hope that you find this video and an encouragement to filter and focus your prayers onto God's mission, no matter what you're praying for. So the other week, I met with a pastor, um, not my own pastor, but a different pastor. And the part of it was to pray, to learn how to pray for him. So I wanted to learn about his ministry, and I also wanted to get to know him, and then, of course, pray for him in his ministry. You know, what I do, pray to feel God's mission. One of his re requests was to have more members of his church to be connected to the community where they live. And so that got me thinking that for most people, we spend about 40 hours a week at work. And so we get to know folks very well at work because we spend a lot of time with them. So we're surrounded by our coworkers. And so here are some of my thoughts on how to pray for your coworkers, to pray them into the kingdom. All right, so number one suggestion, first one. So we've got to be thinking about how we work. Are we working in a way that brings glory and honor to God? Are we improving and are we reaching our goals at work? Whatever we, whatever type of work we in, you know, it needs to be an act of worship to God. So pray to God for that. Pray and ask God to help you in whatever type of work you're doing, whether you're working in a factory, you're a teacher, or you work in the field that I work in, you know, in a group home setting, um, <clears throat> that our work, no matter what, will bring glory and honor to God, even, even if all you're doing is you pump gas or you work at a, at a convenience store or a grocery store. That is still honorable work. That is still work that worship. And if we're going to have an opportunity to share our faith with our coworkers, we need to show that we are committed to the job. That is not just something that we do to earn a paycheck, but it's something that we do to bring purpose into our lives, into the lives of others, and to um, bring glory to God. So then after you pray for that, uh, we need to be praying for opportunities to share our faith. So pray that God will give opportunities to share your faith and also pray that you'll be able to share it clearly, effectively, you know, pray for an opportunity maybe to take an evangelism class at your church to learn how to do that well and effectively. And remember, um, your responsibility is just to share just to share. You have no responsibility about whether or not they accept your message that you give them. That's up to God. So then we need to pray that um, they'll be open to hear what we have to say and that they will actually say yes. And again, you know, our job is to proclaim, is to give the message. Our job is not to say them. That's all up to God. So if you clearly spell out the gospel, you clearly give your testimony, how you came to God, and they say, no, that's not on you. You did your job. And you should praise God for that. You did your job, that he gave you the strength to do that. But then continue to pray that they will be saved. And, and you know, maybe Maybe when the time is right, they will say yes. Maybe they'll be willing to go to church with you. So pray for inviting them into church. Pray, pray, pray. So, yeah, because that's the name of the game, because it's all about God. We have a small part, and God does most of it. I mean, it is his mission, and he's still at work in it. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was an encouragement to you. And as always, um, do me a favor, like this video. Subscribe to the channel, share it, and um, may the Lord be with you.